maneuver. Golly, son. You're doing some police stuff right there. You ain't running from this guy right here. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today, we're going to continue working on our 2018 Dodge Charger Pursuit all-wheel drive. And today, we're actually going to start taking apart some of this front end and seeing exactly what is damaged. All right guys, so the push bar, pit maneuver bar, whatever you want to call it, is finally off. It's actually made out of aluminum, which is a good thing because it's lightweight and stuff like that. But we're definitely gonna be reordering one of these because it just makes this car look a lot more stealthier and it looks a lot more aggressive. And we're probably gonna go ahead and get the headlight wraps as well because I think personally it looks way better. So right now we're actually gonna go ahead and try to remove this front bumper. So we're gonna need to jack up that one side, get that wheel off because we're, we're gonna need to get to them headlight bolts and uh, bumper bolts because on this side we can easily get to everything because it's all ripped apart. So let's go ahead, jack that side up, pull that wheel off and see if we can remove this front bumper. All right guys, so I'm guessing these are the heavy duty disc brakes that they were talking about and the long travel or the upgraded suspension. I don't know, is it long travel? Heavy duty suspension, I believe. I, I believe so. I mean, I don't know if anything's different. Some of you uh, charger owners out there, let us know if these are upgraded or not, you know, because they do have a little bit of ventilation right here. And I see uh, actually uh, a, legit, a legit airway to the brakes to cool them down. So it's pretty, it's pretty awesome, but we're gonna go ahead and start removing some of this inner fender so we can get this front bumper off. We just removed the front bumper and a bunch of other little things and it looks like our frame rails are actually good I don't know about a hundred percent because they may be off a little bit But to the eye it looks like just this little front flange is bent which is simple just bending that thing out We're gonna definitely need a new front rebar, but I guess this is our siren or PA system Whatever you want to call it impeccable that, sound yeah, that impeccable sound uh, it's Probably damaged. I don't know, but I don't know if we can reuse this I don't know how all this stuff. It's like a big jumbo wire mess and they did cut a lot of this stuff off trying to remove like the all the controls and stuff like that which sucks but we'll probably try to figure something out to get this thing working because i definitely want to hear how loud that hey, sucker dude, I is i bet that sucker is ear piercing right there but it is also condenser and radiator piercing because i believe it damaged our yeah definitely wow. damaged everything pushed it all back and uh I think pushed it up against the fans and cracked our fans, honestly. So. And this does have the severe cooling system as well. Yeah, severe cooling system. I don't know if that's some kind of special coolant or the radiator's a little Probably bit bigger. Probably bigger uh, cooler or radiator, yeah. Like yeah, something said. like that. So let's go ahead and actually start tearing this stuff apart. I'd like to at least get this uh, radiator support off. It is a big piece, but we can probably get it off. So let's go ahead and start tearing most of these wires off and start taking that headlight off and hopefully get this whole entire front end apart.
guys, check out this huge mess that we got here, but we managed to take apart basically the whole entire front end over here. That's about all we gotta do for the front end, basically. We know everything that we need to get. Um, there's a bunch of parts that we're gonna have to write down what we need. There's a bunch of little things that we did not know that other cars really don't have. Like speaking about this, uh, this is like the- uh, Severe cooling system. That's no, 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 this is the electronic uh, oh, yeah, hydro that's, assist that's steering. That, exactly. So this is the hydro assist pump right here. And I think uh, something's cracked on it because everything it leaked leaking. out. And that's the reason why we don't have no electronic or hydro yeah. steering, whatever you want to call it. So we're definitely going to need one of those. As for our framework, all we got to do is basically just bend this little piece out. But our major damage is right here. We did not see that, but it's actually pushed back. And this uh, uh, wheel well right here, the metal part is actually cut and bent all the way in. I'm thinking that we can buy this piece though, OEM new, because it does drill out right here. So we'll probably end up buying a new one, drilling that old one out, replacing it, welding it back in. That shouldn't be too hard, but as for our frame rails, they're actually pretty straight. straight dude. Yeah, they're really straight. Everything looks good. I mean, other than that side being the worst side, this side is basically perfect. So as for that uh, severe cooling system, what is it? Is it just a- I mean, we didn't see no difference on this radiator. I don't want to- Drain all the fluid out of here, but oh, oh, you did mention it before. I think it may be this upgraded uh, water pump, but yeah, it's a huge uh, pump, dude. Yeah, I think it may be the upgraded water pump. Or, maybe actually, I don't there's know. nothing at all, you know. Maybe I, don't see, I don't see the huge water pump, <laughs> it's like built in or something. Yeah, there's maybe nothing different at all. I think all Hemis probably have that, it's you know, dealership special. That's man. just what the dealerships write on that little tag, so you'll think that you're getting a good deal, you know what I mean. But maybe. other than that, man, we're looking good, dude, on the damage. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse. Uh, this is probably gonna be the worst uh, part of the damage yeah. right here. A lot, of, a lot of drilling, but... There's gonna be some welding. Some welding, but that's like stuff that we could take care of, you yeah, know Yeah, as I mean? long as we ain't cut no frame rails and stuff like that, that's the hard stuff. But other than that, we're looking good. We know exactly what to order. Radiator, radiator fans, AC condenser, uh, radiator support, a bunch of plastic pieces. As for the front bumper, we're, we're thinking about, while we're working, we're thinking about doing either the Hellcat style or that original style, but we're actually leaning towards the original style because of the, how how the, it's painted black in the middle because somehow this bumper yeah. has this. It looks uh, more, look, yeah, it looks more cop style. You know what I mean? That's yeah, kind of has this big black uh, piece right here that actually flows really nicely down. The Hellcat actually, this is all painted and it, instead of going down right here, the bumper actually flows up and everything is painted right here. It doesn't really match whenever you do a bull grill, you know, yeah, the push the bull bar. bar. The push bar, definitely gonna need to do this bumper with Yeah, that. it looks a lot better with this, but we don't know yet. Right now we're leaning towards this. Uh, if somebody uh, comments down below I mean what do you think should we go with the Hellcat front bumper because we're definitely wanting to go with the Hellcat hood so either this bumper or just the Hellcat front bumper we yeah. don't know yet. haven't decided yet but we st we got a huge mess on our hands yeah we're gonna do some cleanup it is pretty late we got an early start right yeah we got an early start got a lot of work done so let's go ahead clean everything up and then we're gonna catch you guys in the morning All right, guys, so it is the next day, and first things first is we want to go ahead and ride around to a few parts stores and see if we can locate any parts locally and grab some parts today, mainly like the cooling system and stuff so we can get this thing driving around. So let's go ahead, run to some stores, and see if we can find any parts. All righty, guys, so we are here at the LKQ, and what do we order? Basically, I ordered everything. They almost had everything that we need, so right now we're actually going to pull around back, pick everything up, and then once we're at the house, we'll show you guys exactly what we got. All right, guys, we got basically everything that we need. He's just pulling a few more items, but once we get everything, we're gonna head back to the house and show you guys exactly what we got. All right, guys, check this out. So we basically got the whole entire front end in the back of this truck. It's super crazy. We never had that before. Usually working on Ferraris and stuff like that takes months to get parts, but right here we got everything in basically a few hours. So let's go ahead and pull all this stuff out, open some of this stuff up because some of this stuff could be damaged potentially. So we have about 30 days to return some of it. So let's go ahead, pull it all out, open everything up and show you guys exactly what's in these boxes. Alrighty guys, 
guys, so we finally got everything unpackaged, and this is what we were able to get today, which is absolutely amazing. We got a radiator here. We also got our condenser slash transmission cooler. I believe they're split in two right there. Got our radiator fans, got our bumper cover, bumper absorber there. Also got our top grill and bottom grill. We weren't able to get the left and right grill because they just didn't have it. We'll probably just order that online. Also got our radiator support and we also got our bumper rebar. And we did notice something about our radiator actually. This is the severe duty one. Then we try to match it up to our stock one over here or the one that came off the car. And it is actually a little bit smaller, the stock one. So I believe the dealership just made a couple bucks or something like that. Said it was a severe duty one and technically it isn't because it's smaller. And we actually tried to install it already and these hoses are actually a lot smaller. You see that right there? That kind of sucks right there. So we're probably gonna have to either, we do want to run this, right? Yeah, we're definitely gonna run that. I mean, it's better to run bigger cooling Bigger anyways. is better as always, but we're probably gonna have to buy bigger hoses, uh, top and bottom, and then we'll be able to install it. So let's go ahead and probably try to find some hoses and put some coolant in this thing. All right guys, so we actually found a hose and some hose clamps. Might as well get some bigger ones. This is actually out of a 392. I'm guessing all the 392s have the bigger radiator. So let's go back to the house and install that radiator. filling up the coolant and then something happened whenever we started the car just to get the coolant flowing it actually popped off our temporary line this is actually for the transmission cooler and it just squirted all over the floor we threw some rocks on it to soak it up so right now we're actually just gonna go ahead and throw that uh transmission like, cooler slash, slash uh, condenser. condenser yeah it's all i think the transmission cooler is just right here so we're gonna just go ahead and slap it on might as well just so that thing doesn't pop off again so let's go ahead and throw the sucker on So our cooling system is 100% complete, but if you can't tell, we did have a few leaks, but we managed to figure all that out. Now it's all topped off, ready to go. We did have to make one little bracket for our AC condenser because our upgraded uh, radiator, just uh, one hole didn't line up. We just did a little aluminum plate there, nice and perfect. It's, uh, it's nice and sturdy now, and we got an upgraded radiator, which is good both ways. But right now, we're actually gonna go ahead and try to fix our steering. We do have a crack in the reservoir, and the reservoir actually sits uh, underneath the, uh, the wheel well, which yes, is sir. really crazy. Uh, you won't be able to get to that unless you jack the car up, take your fender uh, inner fender off and all that stuff. But we do have a little crack in it, so we're gonna go ahead and try to remove the reservoir somehow. I think it's on four bolts, and see if we can repair it. We did order a brand new one, so it should be here in a couple of days, but for right now, we're gonna see if we can get that sucker running so before we do any of that we're gonna try to get this all this gunk off of here because it's nice and dirty so let's go ahead and pull it outside pressure wash everything and see if we can repair that All right, boys, it's all cleaned up. Let's go ahead and pull it in the garage and see if we can fix that problem.
right, so we took this pump completely apart. It's crazy how everything just comes apart. I don't even know how this stuff works, but this is a hydro assist pump. Hydroelectric. So. Hydroelectric pump. So we're gonna go ahead and actually try to repair it. It's actually cracked right here. We even tried putting some heat to it to melt the cracks down to see if that'll fix it. But this ain't even that kind of plastic. It's almost like a weird type of textured plastic. I think this is the same plastic that was on the Dodge Viper quarter panel. So it's that type of weird fiberglass uh, type of plastic. So we're gonna go ahead and actually sand this down, apply some fiberglass, let it dry overnight, and then we'll catch you guys in the morning. Alrighty guys, so it is the next day here. We went ahead and repaired this little reservoir tank yesterday with some fiberglass and some fiberglass resin. Should be a pretty strong temporary fix until we get our new one in. But we are gonna go ahead and piece this sucker completely back together and then we're gonna throw it on the car. But before we can throw it on the car, we will have to straighten out this little flange right here and make sure our rebar actually fits. And then after we get that all thrown on, we will actually go to the dealership, pick up some electric power steering fluid, and hopefully we get our power steering to work. Jeep Chrysler Ram, I think that's what they call it here. They've got a bunch of stuff. They got a bunch of inventory here. Yeah. Got a couple JLs. I don't think they have anything nice though. We'll see if they got something in the showroom. Dang, dude, that thing looks sick. I ain't gonna lie. The Jeep Rubicon JL is pretty sick. This one it is, at least. I mean, I don't know. No, I'd rather have it. the Gladiator, but in a Rubicon version. Yeah, for sure. What about that? Uh, Staliator? Uh, that's a meg megalodoniator. That, that sucker is crazy. But yeah, let's go in here and get some electric power steering. You, have you ever heard of that before? Never. Electric <laughs> power steering. First time buying fluid. I, I thought they were the same with the regular, you know, power steering yeah. fluid. But I guess they're just trying to make some money or they're different, actually. No, it is different. It's like the hydro assist. So 52. Look, 52 it even K. tells you what type of torch bits. T50. That's Dude, crazy. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, let's go in there and see what they got inside. All right, guys, check this out. So they do got a Hellcat up in here. We need this engine in our Hemi. I mean, I think this is this upgraded right here. Or is this a red? That looks like a cold air intake. Yeah, ours Damn. don't have that. This sucker is. I love this red color too. Red. Man, what kind of hood is that? It's a fiberglass. They only want seven thousand dollars for it. Yeah, I think we'll pass on that. It's too expensive. <laughs> That's pretty sick. The Husqvarna on the back of that Gladiator. See the price tag on this joint, eighty-four thousand dollars. What do you think? You'd rather have back, a Viper or this? Back away, slowly. slowly back away. All right, boys. So we got our power steering stuff right here, and we went ahead and grabbed some coolant just in case. Now let's head back to the shop. Dang, man that steering is nice dude you can literally do it with one finger dude that's how light it is that electronic hydro whatever you want to call it that's some police stuff right there man you gotta have that to maneuver that's maneuverability good. yeah definitely man look at that i mean this sucker does have the <laughs> hd uh, suspension you want to go ahead and test a little bit of off-road see if this thing will actually uh, spin you know do it's, a little donut yeah Maybe, a little burning you know, for the boys eh? see if it'll do it man let's do it Dang, she's spinning. How is this possible? Go for it. That sucker is ripping, dude. Oh, snap. Turn the traction control off. Oh, yep. That's all we'll drive for you right there. That sucker ripped, dude. Man, just all the traction control off is just grit. It, the, the front wheels, it catches, you know. Really? Is that traction off? Yeah, the traction's off, but all-wheel drive, it's still going, you know. I so whenever it. I'm, like, trying to do it, it just points in perfectly in that direction, which is I crazy. Know. Which means it needs boost to spin off wheels, huh? I don't know how. Can you turn press off it. just a front axle, maybe? Somehow? There is a way to do the axle disconnect. I'm just not sure how to do it. I think press it one, two, three times, and then hold it. One, two, three. Try a few different sequences. What are we pressing, the traction control? Yeah, the traction control off, but let me hop on that side. Yeah, there's a way to disconnect the front links, I think. 
Uh, or it's probably just, you know. Just the, on demand or whatever? Just like on demand, whatever. You don't have to mess with anything. Dang, it sucks. I guess we just need to add more horsepower and spin all four of them at the same time. Definitely. I'll see how it'll take off. See if all four spin. I'm going to back up a little bit. Let her rip. Woo! That sucker shot off, dude. That's crazy. Yo, that sucker launches. This thing freaking launches hard, oh man. Oh my gosh, you, I want to review that footage. I'm yeah. not even kidding. Like it launched hard on grass. I mean, on dirt on, with traction control off, dude. It really? launched no spin at all, dude. It was really no spin. It looked fast and it sounded good. It looked like you were in a pursuit or on a call. Dude, or something. this thing definitely needs an exhaust, which probably is going to be coming here real soon. Probably, probably before that boost. I, but Pro I've been saying so much about that boost. I really want to We really, we're looking at uh, what are we? What kind of superchargers? We're looking at a Whipple right now. But uh, with some of these superchargers, these Hemis can't really handle too much. So we may have to do some pistons and rods in this thing, which we're doing a lot of research. A lot of you guys are actually helping us out on a lot of this stuff. So we're going along with this as you guys are, but we definitely need to boost this thing no matter what, because that launch right there is crazy. Imagine with some boost. We got our own little test track here, our own little drag strip. It's about, let's say 50 yard uh, drag strip. Uh, we're gonna put traction control on. I wanna see if it grips a lot more, you know? Cause that was off traction control all right you ready i'm pretty dude oh what, <laughs> what? dude that is like dude. almost kind of like the gtr you know i ain't gonna lie dude that sucker puts you back there it kind of gives you a little bit of butterflies in your stomach dude it launches hard hold on let me turn on this red light we'll launch it one more time you know may go a little harder now i'm gonna do traction control off see if there's a difference because that launched i think a little harder dude. than with the traction control on that was crazy all right traction control off you ready? I'm ready. Oh, man. This thing launches hard. Launch. So it definitely launches harder with the traction control on. I mean, you know, it probably doesn't spin at, at all, but this thing is a beast man dude it's a beast but i would love to hear like some boost and just more power honestly Maybe you know wine or something like that some you know? wine twin turbos we're not against anything like that you know what i mean yeah, it's just a uh, supercharger is the best way probably the but, easier way probably to, to yeah the, i mean the hemis you know they're from factory got the hellcat supercharger you know oh yeah the hemis but i think the the, the that's hellcat, a six point set six point six point Four? Six, four. I forget already. I can't believe it. We own one and we forgot, but they got the iron block. I don't know if this is the iron block. What do you it's think? It's probably just a steel block. Everything good up here? I think so. It's yeah, all good, the, man. The whole bungee is doing the, doing the trick yeah, right there. This is our little drag strip right here. As you can tell, we got our little tire marks from this car because it just grips like crazy, man. So go ahead, dude. Try that launch out. Let me go give it a try. Hey, he ended up way up there. Oh, oh God, pit maneuver. Golly, son. You're doing some police stuff right there. You ain't running from this guy right here. That's what I'm saying. This Dude. thing he took off. Well, he he, he went out all the way up there. I hope we get some snow this year down south, man. I, I'm telling you, this yeah. sucker right here is going to rip in the snow. Definitely, man. Alrighty guys, so we just got done ripping this thing and that is gonna be a wrap for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed this as much as we are. Make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. Also in the next videos, hopefully we will be putting more of this front end together or maybe we'll just jump into the interior. We're still looking for parts, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Also guys, if you wanna help support your boys, be sure to visit goonsquad.com and copy some merch. And if you haven't, be sure to follow us on Instagram at goonsquad where you can get an inside scoop there before YouTube. So with that being said, thank you guys for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below and we'll catch you next time. Time. Police.